आई एम सेद फखर इमाम विद कोर्स टाइटल मीडिया राइटिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ मीडिया राइटिंग एंड सोर्सेज ऑफ न्यूज डियर स्टूडेंट्स वर्किंग इन मीडिया इज बोथ एक्साइटिंग एंड चैलेंजिंग द न्यू पब्लिकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म्स द जर्नलिज्म वर्ल्ड इज इवॉल्विंग एट अ रेपिड पेस वी स्टिल rely on it to inform educate and entertain us influencing the way people look at the world and encouraging them to change their views for the better however the media writing has developed into number of styles and forms which is why we are going to take a closer look at the different types of media writing here we have different types of media writing as you see on the screen we have different types such as news features review column investigative digital or online writing sports writing editorial writing so we will discuss one by one first one is news news writing is a particular style of prose that is used to report on the basic facts of a particular event whether for a newspaper publication or broadcasting means electronic media tv or radio it answers five w's in first few sentences this structure which focus on who what when where why and how is known as inverted pyramid style as we discussed earlier or in previous classes news writing is both precise and direct so it's rare you will find any jargon it is very formal style as a rule of thumb news writers would not use long words or phrases so avoid long words and phrases used simple sentences and paragraphs feature feature writing presents newsworthy event through a narrative but it differs from news writing in the respect that it relies on creativity and an element of subjectivity to emotionally connected with readers its purpose is to entertain the basic purpose of feature writing is to entertain the readers which is why it covers a lot of soft news entertainment sports lifestyle and so on so forth feature stories also built on a news that has already been reported aiming to humanize the person behind the story while offering more depth and insight examples of features include profiles spot features and live in stories spot features run alongside breaking news events so are often produced to tight deadline whereas live in stories are more in depth providing a closer look at a particular place that readers would not usually usually experience reporters spend a lot of time at the place they are writing about now we will talk about review review are a staple of media and journalism the aim is to offer an opinion a recommendation to readers unlike news writing you can be subjective and adopt more informal tone when you are reviewing you will use subjective and adopt more informal tone creating a good report with your audience is essential if they are going to take your view into consideration more specifically the role of reviewer is to inform describe analyze advise covering almost any topic products or events some common examples include like tv shows film 
restaurants, books and products. Now we will talk about column. A column is recurring article or piece most commonly found in newspapers and magazines. And the writer is free to express their own opinion in the space allocated to them. What separates columns from news pieces and review is that is typically written by the same journalist on the same theme or subject each time. There are many different types of column, including advice, fashion, food, sports, and music. Good columnists write the way they talk without sacrificing good grammar and English. While it is important to be informal and friendly, columnists do not have a lot of space to communicate what they want to say. So it's best to avoid jargon and including too much material or detail. Investigative writing Investigative writing often uncovers political corruption, serious crimes or corporate wrongdoing. So it requires a writer to spend many months researching and planning their stories before publication. Due to the sensitive nature of investigative journalism, it is important for a writer to maintain high standards of accuracy at all the time. With any claim backup by evidence, they have verified themselves. Investigative writers will usually receive tips about stories and will spend time developing hypotheses and planning additional research before deciding to investigate them fully. Digital writing or online writing. Online news consumption around the world is growing exponentially and while the basic principles of writing apply including accurate reporting, fact checking and proper grammar and spellings. It requires writers to craft copy that best suits this medium. Concise and clear writing is particularly important in digital space, mainly because internet users want information fast and easily digestible manner. However, the headlines also need to be considered carefully. Why? Because straightforward headlines work better online than indirect headlines and they will not be picked up by search engines at all if they don't include any keywords. So whenever you are writing for a digital platform or for digital space, you should use straightforward or you should use direct headlines. It is very important for online writing. Sports writing. As Richard described and defined, sports writing is a form of journalism or creative non-fiction in which a sporting event, individual athletes or sports related issues serves as a dominant subject. Which is perfectly described by Richard, this type of writing has increased the importance as a sports has grown in power, wealth and influence. Although sports writers do not cover the serious topics explored by investigative or news writers, they are essential elements of any media organizations. Some sports writers specialize in one particular sport, while others cover matches and events within any given area. Editorial writing Editorial is an article usually opinion based that is written by a senior member of publication or editorial staff. Although it can be about any topic, it is usually cover an issue within society and is backed by evidence and facts to build credibility. Many writers find difficulty or uh, sometimes many writers find editorial difficult to master but having patience or knowledge about a certain subject often make it much easier. Dear students, uh, in next class uh, we will discuss the different structures for example how to write editorial, how to write news, how to write 
column how to write features how to write sports writing how to write investigative writing how to write a uh, online story so we will use different structures and different formats for writing in next session we will discuss one by one now uh, we have the second part that is sources of news now we will discuss the sources of news dear students anything that provides news information for a period of time is said to be a news source there are several news sources such as official documents governmental officials witnesses of the crime scene the victims itself etc news sources are required for both journalist and for audience here we are going to discuss the news sources for both journalist and for audience in early days many rulers used the technique of drum beat to convey their message to different to, through different people or his officials and many rulers carved their messages on the wall or rock to deliver their message later in the modern world all these news sources were eliminated and then press took a new element of news sources in today world we can see there are totally different news sources such as television radio press release press conference newspaper press interviews institutions such as hospitals schools colleges police station courts etc these are the news sources which are prominent in the today's time so we will discuss one by one radio it is an audio medium used by many in today's time we can see people are relying on radio as a source of information radio is prominent and seen in both rural and urban areas people in rural who cannot afford television rely on radio as it is cheap medium if we talk about urban areas where we do not see many using radio at their houses instead they are listening in their cars over decades radio has gained popularity and is said to be a good source of news so radio is also a source of news now the second uh, source is television television telecast their news on television through which other newspaper takes their sources it is said to be the most authentic source of news as it has visuals to establish the authentic city television helps and provides newspaper to give detailed information to the audience but television news just does not act as the source to the newspaper but also the audience itself so our third source is newspaper and magazines newspaper and magazines also act as a good source of news newspaper on both level national or international provides the best information in details the newspaper has 5 w's and 1 h which gives all the significant information at the starting of the news and further deals with the minor details and same is done in the magazines so next point is next source is press release press releases are generally used for release of particular news the press release should contain worthwhile material which has some news values a press release should be written in journalistic style and provide facts and information of interest to the readers and should cover all aspects of specific subject the release should be on current subjects and piece of clear writing without any ambiguity colors are ornamentations but it should at the same time not be generally lengthy now we will talk about press notes press notes are less formal in character these are also issued on important official matters for example 
raising or lowering of tariff rates, price fixations of food grains, subsidy announcements of seeds, fertilizers, etc. Apart from the name of department, place and date, a press note mentions heading. Unlike the press committee, the newspaper can edit or condense the press notes. Handouts Handouts are issued on variety of subjects like day-to-day -day activities of ministry or departments, VIP speeches, questions and answers in parliament or legislators, and the developmental programs of government departments. It covers the names of the information department, number of official handouts is issued if the minister or government officials has spoken is in his personal capacity. Now, the seventh source is press statement. The statement are usually given by known people, then he share his statement with media and later this becomes a press statement. Now, the last point is police station. Last source is police station. Every event which is of big concern to the police station would be firstly found in police stations. If the reporter wants to know about crime scene, he would get first-hand information from there. 